Now, I recommend that you take the EGR off of the uh, manifold. I think these are seven millimeter bolts. Make sure the EGR ports are not gummed up with carbon or anything and clean those out real good. Make sure that the hole going into the intake manifold is nice and clean as well because there's a hole that goes from the EGR right through there into the intake manifold. Got to make sure all this stuff's cleaned out. Okay, if you look at that EGR port, it's like half of it is plugged up on this side. And then when I come down to the manifold, it's about the same on the manifold, about half. Now on my car, this stuff was hard. Yeah, this is hard too. It's breaking away. So you want to get a screw driver or something to uh, break that stuff out of there. It's just buildup that's not supposed to be in there. That's how it looked with some of that stuff broken out. That hole in the middle is bigger than the screw holes on either side. And the same goes for the hole on the intake manifold. Make sure you get all that carbon knocked out of there and that buildup so that your EGR system can breathe good. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.